Um, it's terrible that we have to come out on a day like this and march in this day and age to get something that should be just a natural process to us. Um, I'm working with the HSE for 25 years and I can honestly say that what the HSE have gone and done this time is just totally gone beyond the odds. Um, I stood at a meeting with Mr. Rannigan the other day and I was absolutely appalled at what he had to say. He blamed, or tried to blame, the, the Royal College of Surgeons in Dublin for this and that it was their plot and it was them that was telling them to make the decisions and pull back the services and transfer them. It was not the Royal College of Surgeons in Dublin, it was the HSE that decided this. This is just pure downgrading. They made these plans and they look great on paper, but you put something into practical terms, it does not work. We've had several episodes of people turning up at our casualty department, not being able to be seen, wondering where they're going to go, is there an ambulance available to bring them because the ambulances are all over the place, and it's not good enough. You are the patients, we're the workers, we want to serve you, but we don't have the resources, we're not allowed to do it, our hands are tied. And unfortunately for us, and I know we're dealing with the public every day of the week, it's very hard when a patient comes in and starts giving us grief about this is not good enough and I should be able to get my service here. And I totally and fully agree with you, you should. The same as I should, and my family should. But we can't, our hands are tied. And it's these people, Mr. Brannigan and the likes of them, that make the decisions that are not on the ground floor on a day-to-day -day basis, that are not dealing with the public, that don't know obviously how to deal with the public. Care is the number one thing and always should be, and we want to put that back into Navin. We have an accredited hospital. We should be able to use what we have. Drona is not accredited. It is not up to full standard. We have been passed. So why take away the resources that we have and transfer them to a hospital that is completely unclean, not up to standard, and yet this is a safe patient care. I mean, I think this man has a lot to answer to, so I'm asking the public today, stand up, get up, walk with us, and fight to keep these doors open, please. Thank you. For over a hundred years, Our Lady's Hospital in Avon has been a properly staffed, high quality,